Hi and welcome back to the Migro series on soil versus hydro. This video we're going to look at the hydro setup. It's our Alien Pro system, four bucket system from Alien Pro. It's uh, or DWC system. So we have our header tank here and our whole system combined, the five together is 100 litres capacity. So we've started off by checking everything, all the seals and everything else are all sealed up and tightened up. And then we filled it up to the top of the seals only with water. Just left it for an hour or two just to, to che check whether there are any leaks. And then we filled the system up proper. I'll show you in a second, but we filled it up to the uh, just underneath about this level on these pots. Uh, we're going to have small plants in here going in in small rock wool cubes and uh, cocoa pebbles and um, so we wanted the, the level of the liquid to be right up where the roots are so that they're getting moisture immediately. So once we had filled it up we wanted to add in the nutrients and uh, we started off as is necessary. We have um, a general hydroponics uh, A and B here um, that we're using and we have uh, with those they need to have uh, calcium and magnesium added. We didn't have the general hydroponics CalMag but we've used the Canna one. So we dose that at with the manufacturer's recommendation, so it was one uh, milliliter per liter, so 100 mils of that went in. Then we have the general hydroponics uh, nutrient guide for uh, recirculating hydro. And for early growth, we multiplied the numbers here, so you know, 5 mil and 10 mil per liter, multiplied them up for the mix A and B and we pop them into the tanks and then we ran the circulating pump for a while got everything mixed and swirled around and we checked the ph uh, we pick, we check we check two things actually we checked the ppm uh, which is up at about 350 which is good for early star plants and then we checked the ph the ph originally was high with that mix and our water came in at seven so we used our uh, pH down. So Vitalink Essentials pH down. And we again slowly added that in to our water while mi mixing and circulating around. And the pH has dropped down to around 6.0 now, which is, uh, is supposedly the really good level for chilies and shoot, should suit them very well. One other thing we checked, we're inside in a working building here, so the room temperature is generally, you know, would range maybe between 15 and 20 degrees. Uh, so it's pretty ideal for doing this. Um, and we just double checked the water temp, which should be around 20 degrees. Ours is at 19, so that's perfect. We're pretty happy with that. If you are in a very warm environment, you may need to add cooling to the uh, to the liquid, which it's all piped up for here. But uh, fortunately, in this case, we don't have to. So we filled it up. We've got all the nutrients in. We balanced the pH. <coughs> We've checked the system for leaks, and now it's top time to pop the plants in. So we're going to put in the. Uh, Rockwell cubes with the young plants into the hydro, uh, or sorry, into cocoa paddles and drop them down in here. And we are ready to go. So we'll just, uh, I'll just take the, the tops off here and we'll switch on the pumps and we can just have a little look at what's going on. You can see, the, see and hear the system circulating. So we can see now there's a, an air um, pebble in this big mixing tank, so you can see lots of bubbles coming up from that. 
The water is also getting circulated around through the system. And there is an air stone in each of the pots as well. So you can see they're getting lots of air, lots circulating around there. So our system is set up. Everything's uh, working great so far. We're just gonna pop the plants in. The next episode, you're gonna see the early growth comparisons and the upkeep we've had to do on both systems, the hydro and the soil. So, appreciate you tuning in. Please leave comments and take care.